Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how you can add Firebase services in your Android application without using Google services.json file. Whenever we add a Firebase services in our Android application, we also add a Google services.json file into the app folder. So Google services.json file contain all the important API keys. So whenever you add any Firebase services into your Android application, you require that file. But when you work in big Android project, sometimes you can't use Google services.json file because you have to synchronize project on Git repository or any version control Git system. So in such scenarios, you have to use alternate method and that's what we are going to learn today. I'm going to show you how you can integrate Firebase into your Android application even without Google services.json file. So let's understand first what is the importance of Google services.json file. Here I have made an Android app project with Firebase already integrated into it with Google services.json file on the left side as you can see. So when you open the Google services.json file, it contains all the necessary information about about your Firebase project such as project ID, Firebase URL, storage bucket as well as it also contains the package name and the API important API keys. Now the mechanism of this is very simple. When you add Google services plugin in your Gradle file, this plugin convert Google services.json file into proper XML strings and you can check that XML strings by going into app folder and then there is a resource folder with bracket generated. Inside this folder, there is a values.xml file. You can open this values.xml file. This is the file which is very important because this file contains all the Firebase API keys derived from Google services.json file. Now, if you want to avoid using Google services.json file, here is a simple method which I am going to show you. Simply copy the entire strings from the generated values.xml and then paste it into the strings.xml file. And once you are done with this, open the Gradle file in your app module and then remove this plugin. I will comment it out. And below make sure you add the all the Firebase dependencies like analytics and the main uh, BOM and then synchronize your project. Now the project is synchronized. As you can see, there is no error about, about Firebase services.json file. Now after synchronization, we are removing the Firebase services.json file from our app folder. After de deleting this file, we can build our project. And as you can see, project is properly built without any errors because we already have stored all the Firebase variable in string.xml file. Now, if you want to learn more about this variable, there, there, or you can, you can check the official Firebase uh, website about all this variable, constant name, and the strings. Now, let's check whether our Firebase integration is properly working or not. I have initialized Firebase Analytics, and let's debug this app. Now, as you can see, the app is running properly on device without any errors. It means that our Firebase services is properly working on the device without any issue. Now here is an alternative scenario. Imagine if you want to use CI CD pipeline and you have to synchronize this project into Git repository. Obviously you cannot synchronize with your API keys. So there is a, another alternative. You can use environment variable instead of storing all the API keys into values or strings.xml file. Create environment variable in the Gradle, Gradle file and if you want to know how to create environment variable in Android Gradle, there is a video which I have previously made. You can refer to it and then make this API keys into environment variable using your Gradle file. In this way, you can store all the important API keys as an environment variable into your CI CD pipeline setup and then using those environment variable, you can dynamically create the XML file during the build process of your Android app. But the fundamental concept remains the same. You have to create the strings with the API keys, either using Google services plugin or without Google services plugin manually. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. And if you like, get value out of this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And before you exit this video, you can check out my apps and games developed by me. The link is given in the description below. With that said, have a nice day and bye bye.